Don't you hate it when work gets in the way of adventure bike riding? Well, it's time to change that. So I've got an amazing two week ride planned. I'm going back to the Flinders Ranges. Last year, I visited the Flinders for the first time. I did an eight day solo trip and it was absolutely incredible. But I've got unfinished business there, so I'm going back. I'm going back for two weeks and I'm going to do tracks that I never got to before and I'm doing some of the tracks that people have sent me that are less well known. So it's going to be an incredible trip and this time I'm not going alone. I wanted to get two fine looking models that were really good bike riders but I couldn't get those so instead I've got my mate Coco and HD joining me on the trip. Coco will be riding his CRF 450 and HD, he's leaving the Husky at home and he's taking Das Panzer. Yeah. But if anyone can ride a GS and throw it round, it's HD. So I think he's gonna have a ball riding that in the Flinders. So here's the plan. Coco and I are putting our bikes on a trailer and driving to Broken Hill. HD's gonna ride his GS there. From there, we all head up to our first base, which is going to be the Shearer's Quarters at Alpana. And from there, we're going to explore Skytrek, Flinders National Park, Mount Samuel, Nukalina Copper Mine, Artimore Ruins, and a couple of other tracks in the region. Then we pack up, we ride across the Aboriginal protected area to Arkarula, which is going to be our second base. We explore the riding around Arkarula, then pack up again and head across the top to Warrawina, where we're gonna set up camp, ride Mount Gill and some of the other tracks in the area. And then finally, we ride back through Arkarula, north to Mount Freeling Station, where we're gonna camp. And from there, we're gonna pick up the Strzelski Desert to Cameron's Corner, Tipabara, and back to Broken Hill. Altogether, 14 days, 5,000 kilometers in total, and it's gonna be epic.